Welcome back, my dear Lightbulb, to so another My Hero Academia review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to so become part of the Lightbulb Army. So let's get right into it. This chapter of My Hero Academia was just simply amazing. You may disagree with me, but this was a really well put together chapter, right? So there's two major things I want to talk about. First is staying, and then is the ending of the chapter. So basically we see one month ago in Tartarus when everything was going AWOL and stuff and we actually see Stain trying to gather information gather into like what is happening in Tartarus why is all this stuff happening and he says something very important information is essential right and we saw how information manipulation with the Liberation Army back then and how manipulating information was very important for them to lead the heroes astray and stuff which is really cool right now, the thing with Stain is he's an anti-hero. He says, but if Tartarus has fallen, the world beyond must be in dire straits. So he already has come to the conclusion of this because it's like Tartarus is one of the most secure high level prisons for villains, right? And if this has fallen, what does the world outside look like, right? Which goes to show you that Stain is a very smart person, right? And if you want to learn more about Stain and what happened to his nose and stuff, check out My Hero Academia Vigilantes, by the way, right? Now, he sees one of the guards, he's down holding onto something and Stain comes to the conclusion, it's like, okay, he's not holding onto his weapon, which would be smart in a situation like this because the prison is going down the water literally and the prisoners are going crazy right he's grabbing onto this case of information and then the guards like shisome akaguro you work with shigara he's basically gonna say shigaraki this is not for you so it was so important to the guard that he held it with his life basically and he calls stain a killer and he's talking about this must reach the right people, right? Now, the thing about this exchange I like the most is what the guard acts stain. He said, Akakuro, are you a man or a beast? And Stain's response was, I'm merely an ally to the world as it should be, but a beast all the same. So he's an ally to the world, right? And making sure there are true heroes and all this stuff, but he's a beast all the same because yes, he will help, you know, true heroes from time to time. He will ally with the heroes, you know, if he sees that they're true heroes, but he's a beast all the same because the measures he takes are to an extreme. He killed 40 heroes and he did so because for him, they were fake heroes. They were not like his idol all might there were not true heroes there were heroes for other reasons than just being plain heroes so that's why he called himself a beast but he also calls himself an ally as well which man horikoshi with the dialogue in this chapter this was the best dialogue ever right here this interaction between the guard and stain for me personally was the best dialogue of the chapter now we get like uh the all Might stuff and how he basically explained that one for all and all for one they're kind of similar because their quirks they have their they have like wills in them right quirks have wills in them right which is very interesting to think about right and the thing is that in all for one all for one's will we need all for one's real name please or koshi it's about time uh, actually, no, we actually got his last name, Shigaraki. So, but I don't want to say Shigaraki because, um, yeah, you know why. So, All For One's will is in the All For One quirk, and it's a very overpowering will, if I say so myself, right? Now, the way that All Might explained it was that you have to be close to each other, like the new user of a quirk and the previous user you know for the, there's to be some type of communication because all for one was in Tartarus how is he going to communicate with Shigaraki Shigaraki is really far away and then all for one is like many levels down sea level so the only way to do this was through radio waves which is which is a waveform right 
So I'm not going to go too in depth about that. I just want to talk about the politics later on and why we haven't seen other heroes from other countries go help out. If we do know already, if you read My Hero Academia Vigilantes, there's a hero from America called Captain Celebrity, which is like Superman, right? And I was like, why isn't Captain Celebrity helping out, right? So this is the reason why. There's a big meeting, right? I guess with all the major nations. And this is what they talk about. A direct request from All Might, yes. But this sort of dispatch can't happen in a day. Even in the best of times, an international deployment effort takes a staggering amount of procedure and paperwork. So for any action to happen, they need procedure and paperwork, right? The strength of our heroes is directly tied to domestic power. When they go abroad, a nation is less able to deter attacks and the balance crumbles. So heroes are balance structure. If, if let's say if you're in the US and they send a hero from the US to some other country, then the structure, the balance is, is not there because you know that's a key part of keeping the safety, right? Any large scale deployment tends to encourage the major crime syndicates to stir up trouble, but this time it's worse than ever. Countries all over the world are in turmoil, almost as if those syndicates are working together. According to Interpol, the man known as All for One has underworld connections in a number of countries. So a lot of people in those other countries, a lot of the villains are probably cheering like, oh, All for One is free. It's, it's time to raise mayhem, right? And we even get to see some of the other heroes, right? Even so, we cannot disregard from other places this earnest plea from Endeavor, Hawks, and most notably, All Might. They said most notably, because All Might, that's how much influence he had over the decades. My nation's hero, Salam, is quickly losing patience. He has taken to muttering, muttering, I will flatten that all for one. So that nation's hero, which looks like a pharaoh, is he has confidence, so much confidence in himself that he's like, I will flatten all for one, which is really impressive. So I wonder how strong he is, right? I, I'm guessing that's the number one hero from that nation. Then we have the same goes for our hero, Big Red Dot. He questions why aiding a friend must involve so much red tape um, on that note. Ours already left. She couldn't sit any longer. Sit around any longer. She skipped out. Everything just flew off. And then we get to see in the last page on a stealth bomber. There's one, two, three, four stealth bombers. And she's on one of them, right? I don't know if she could fly. She says, hey, no skin off our back, Star. Well, she doesn't say this. Uh, the pilots say this. The, this mission is guaranteed to get the green light anyway, sooner or later. Besides, the request came from all my himself. My master's in a pickle. Why would I think twice? So we get to see the United States of America's number one hero, Star and Stripe, right? And she was a student to All Might. Now, I don't know if she's the first student to All Might. All Might could have many students over the world. We don't know. It's been decades, right? Midoriya obviously is not the only student. So we get to see Star and Stripe, right? Now, a lot of people are looking forward to Star and Stripe and Midoriya teaming up. I am definitely looking forward to that as well. I love her character design. Definitely uh, reminds me of, uh, what do you call it? Homelander from The Boys, which is not a good thing in terms of costume, but it's still a cool costume. She looks awesome. And yeah, I really hope Horiko, she does not kill her off like by this. I mean, I hope All For One does not kill her. She's awesome. She's the number one hero. So she's definitely no pushover, right? And if you're the number one hero of the US or any other country, you gotta be really strong. So I'm really looking forward to this. She acted right away. She was not waiting for no paperwork, no, oh, we gotta sign this. No, she just like, all right, it's time to go. All my call, all my needs help, I'm going. Like, that's awesome. Overall, I'll give this chapter a perfect score, 10 out of 10, and peace.